Hello, my dear students. Today I am going to teach you past perfect tense. So, past perfect tense is again a very important tense, and you have to understand how to use it while speaking or writing. So, what is past perfect tense? Let's understand this way. When two actions, when two actions happened in the past right i'm talking about two past actions so when two actions happened in the past then then we use past perfect tense to clearly show the action that occurred first in the past tense right understand again when two past actions happened in the past then we use only past perfect tense to clearly show the action that occurred first in the past right and we use simple past tense to denote the action or to show the action which happened after the first past action got over fine so for second past action you will always use simple past tense and for the first past action you will always use past perfect tense clear i hope i am clear moving on to my next slide to give you a better understanding of the concept yes so so understand this timeline i am talking about two completed past actions so this is the this denote uh, this bar stands for present time this denotes past time sorry future and this stands for past time and these two arrows first one first indicates the first this first arrow stands for first completed action and this arrow stands for second completed action and both these actions have occurred in the past so both these actions took place in the past and these actions are not at all relevant with the present time so the this action started in the past uh, sorry started in the past and got over in the past this act this second action also it started in the past and got over in the past but you have to keep in mind that for first completed action in the past you will use past perfect tense and for the second past action, you will use simple past tense. That is the past perfect tense all about. Moving on to the next slide. Yes. Now, another timeline. So, this is present time, right? And please do not see this. And this is past. And this stands for future time, right? So, if uh, I read this sentence, the film had started before we right right so there are two clauses definitely there are two clauses but the scientist is only one the film had started before we arrived so first you have to identify the action that took place first in the past so here the film had started before we arrived if i say the film started at 8 30 and we arrived at 8.45, it means the action of starting occurred first in the past and the action of arriving occurred second in the past, right? So, the film had started at 8.30 before we arrived, like we arrived at 8.45, it means we have to write the first part of the sentence in past perfect tense because the action of starting took place first in the past. So, you will always use past perfect tense. And for the second past action, you will use simple past tense. The film has started before we arrive. So, this is the formation of uh, a sentence showing usage of simple, uh, past perfect tense. Moving on. Past perfect tense. She had cleaned the room when I got home yesterday. So there are uh, there are two. Th this sentence shows two past action. The first action is she had cleaned the room. Yes, 
when I got home yesterday. Similarly, he failed his test. Why did he fail his test? Because he hadn't studied well. It means which action took place first in the past? He had not studied well. That's why he got he got he could not qualify his exam. So this these are the examples of past perfect tense. Now moving on to the formation part. Formation past perfect tense subject followed by had plus past participle or third form of verb. And uh, also you have to keep one thing in mind that whether your subject is singular or plural, plural you have to use had in both the uh, in both the situation or you can say that you will use only had it doesn't matter whether your subject is singular or plural she had finished the test another example is a negative sentence she hadn't finished the test and another example is of interrogative type had she finished the test i hope i am clear but before i go i would like to share one more slide with you just uh, yeah this so i will just explain past perfect tense a bit more let's learn the train had left before we reached the station second example the patient had died before the doctor arrived so here there are two clauses obviously sentence is one in the first clause the train had left and in the second clause before we reach the station so there so this sentence uh, this sentence contains two past actions so you have to identify we have to identify the action which took place first in the past and the action which took place after the first action got over so in the first sentence in the above sentences here understand the first action the first action uh, that got over first in the past is the train had left and the first action in the second sentence the patient had died since these two actions occurred first in the past that's what that's why we will use had and had that is past perfect form and oh, sorry past perfect tense and third form of verb left and died now note here the action happened first in the past perfect tense and the second action will be written in simple past tense so the action that happened first in the past will be written in past perfect tense and the action that occurred second in the past will be written in simple past tense only i hope i am clear so just keep learning and do practice Definitely, you will come out with flying colors. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.